Amashik says, can't we store the uranium waste and send it into space where it will not harm anywhere? So Amashik, how about we take plastic bottles? So when I'm answering any question, I'm not making fun of anybody here, please. Okay, be, I'm really serious. When I read a question, I'm seriously answering the question. Okay. So Amashik, how about we take plastic bottles? And we take all the garbage here and polythene bags and ship it to the universe somewhere, maybe send it to Jupiter. We can do that and clean our mother earth, right? But why don't we do that? It's not effective. It doesn't justify the amount of energy that is going to be used up here to send it there doesn't justify that. That is the point. Right, like a three is saying it's going to be so costly. It's going to take a lot more energy than, than it justifies the cost, right? Is it clear, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, Ashik? The question was really good, awesome question there. But have you understood why not? Take it As I though you, you think about it, you are getting a lot of solar energy in your backyard, gardens, everywhere. Right? It, it is free energy. It is free energy, isn't it? So then why doesn't everybody install those solar panels and get free energy every day? You don't have to pay anything to your uh, Bangalore city or Chandigarh city, uh, any municipal corporation. Why don't we install it? It's free. But the fact is that is a, it is, does not justify the cost. These are made of silicon and these are costly. Right, so it, 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 that there has to be a balance between what you get versus what you, you can use. No, Atri, the point is we have so much of energy. So if I install, I have a big terrace here, by the way. It's really huge terrace I have in my house. And it's my private, nobody shares it. It's my personal house, right? So then if I install that, that energy is going to be more than enough for supplying the energy here. Plus I can sell it to the department now. There is a reverse grid, right? Smart grid. But the point is, it is not justifying the cost. It will take almost 12 years to recover the cost itself. It's good to have a clean energy, but then does it justify the cost? Okay. So everything comes down to like how much of effort you're doing versus how much you get back from that, right? So sending to the space doesn't justify the effort. Okay, can we move on now? Take it, I'm actually understood that. So this is a question from 2010, uh, the question paper. Please everybody try this easy question. Everybody has to answer this. 100% right results, please. Take us, Sai Kumar, thank you for answering. I will get a poll and then work on this question. In 30 more seconds, it's not a lot of effort here. Okay, so I'm going to show you like like the poll here. Please answer A, B, C, or D. Let's see. And we'll do all the steps here. Don't worry. We'll do all the steps. Okay, I'm getting a clean 33% for three options there. Okay, so now there are there is a swing. 
in the poll. So this is what I get, and and we'll match the results with what we do now, right? So there is there is some material. Let's call the material um, X. Okay, it has atomic mass A and atomic number Z. It emits out three alpha particles. So it emits out three helium four two. Right, this is what it emits out first. So it gets converted into Y. So what will happen here is minus 12, take a minus 12 and Z minus six. Everybody has understood this, say yes or no, or, or don't say yes or no. If you have not understood, just tell me. Three alpha particles. So then this is down by four, 12 and this is down by six. It emits out two positrons. Positron is one, oh sorry, zero plus one. So this is what will happen. Z or Z doesn't change. A minus 12 doesn't change, right? Mass number doesn't change. But if it changes, if it either plus two, then so this becomes Z minus six. Because proton has been converted. Oh, Z minus sorry, sorry, sorry. Z minus eight. Because proton, two protons have been converted into neutrons. Neutrons increase now. And a positron is what? Proton converts into a positron and a neutron. So proton is gone, neutron is born now. Take any doubts? Right. Okay. So now they're saying, what is the ratio of number of neutrons to number of protons? Protons to me repas Z minus eight. Take a or Meripas neutrons kit me hai. Neutrons are A minus 12 minus Z minus 8. So, this is A minus Z minus 4, and this is Z minus 8. So, correct option is B. And that is what most of the students were actually saying. That, that, was, that was good, actually. So, let's move on to this. This question is from 2005. Half life. Half life. Bata. It's very easy. It should take two seconds for you to answer here. No formula needed, nothing. No, 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 no. Vasudeva, please try that one more time. You will actually be doing it correctly. Read the numbers one more time. That answer is wrong. Let's try it one more time. Anybody? This question is very easy. You should just see the answer. It's right there in front of you. This much decays. If this number is not clear, this is seven by eight decays in 15 minutes. Seven by eight is gone. It's gone. Ek but art vacha. One by eight is remaining now. Yeah, Vasudeva. Now your answer is right. Right? Anybody else who can answer that? One eighth is remaining in 15 minutes. So how much is the half life? Uh, no, Abhinay, you're making the same mistake as Vasudeva was making earlier. So let's let's see this in the poll. A, B, C, or D. Kaise? How? No, Sai Kumar, you're making the same mistake. Nobody has given the right answer. Vasudeva, you have not given a poll because nobody has chosen the right answer so far. Okay. Some answers are right now. Okay, the answer is D. It's five minutes. The answer is so easy. Deco, you had some copper, right? Copper becomes zinc. They're saying in 15 minutes, Seven eighth is remaining. Oh, seven eighth is gone. Sorry, seven eighth is gone. So in 15 minutes, one eighth remains. Doesn't that mean remains? What a nice spelling there. So one eighth remains. So what? How many half life? And three half life, okay, na? So after one half life, 
one half remains after two half lives one fourth remains after three half lives one eighth remain three half lives is 15 minutes so one half life is five minutes isn't it three half lives okay now three half lives one eighth bachata so let me ask in the poll is it clear or not true means clear false means not clear okay true means clear false means it is still not clear that is good actually let's do another question here yes i think we'll do this together because there is so much to do here so much so z z is the atomic number right koi material hai uska 92 tha atomic number right atomic number was 92 i was release kar diya. all you do is you start doing calc counting one two three four five six seven and eight eight alpha particles are gone eight alpha particles get to everybody takes two of them so 16 to yahan se nikal gaya alpha particles hai to kitna bacha 76 Okay, so far clear. Now it's 76. Bacha. Uske baad kya hai pas? Beta negative, 1 beta negative, 2 beta negative, 3 beta negative, 4 beta negative. So this was 8 alpha. Now 4 beta negative chale gaya. So each beta negative increases the number of protons. So number of protons 4 increase ho gaya, 80 a gaya. Uske baad dekho, what happens next is 2 beta positives are gone. Two beta positives chale gaye, so what you're left with, you subtract two. So you end up with getting 78. Chika? Everybody gets it? So answer is 78. Unless I have made a mistake, just point it out. If there is a mistake, point it out, please. I might have made a mistake. I'm not like a machine. I will make mistakes. Clear has of course this was 2003. See, these are the kind of questions. Obviously, the complexity of exam paper keeps increasing, and we never know. Ab ye answer sab ko dena. Everybody 100 percent participation needed, 100 percent right results needed. This is the last question we are doing for today, and we'll end the class after this. 100 percent participation, please. you can never go wrong with these kind of questions and this was 2002 obviously the level of exam was very less than ha theek hai atri that is right anybody wants to stay for relativity has to stay others can leave after this question sai is right atri is right more answers please more bolo please Shreya Bhatt, yes. Shreya Bhatt, I have to keep making you I have to make you speak and when you speak you give the right answer okay more answers needed please okay here is the poll a b c or d at least tell me in the poll 20 percent votes 100 percent right results so far 30 percent votes 100 percent right results no more votes come on no that's not right that's that's not right actually you should be giving more answers to these simple questions when i say if there are doubts nobody asks half-life period is five years five years ke baad kya hoga? you will have n naught by two ten years ke baad kya hoga? n naught by four fifteen years ke baad kya hoga? n naught by eight now these are not the questions you should expect now 